Hi guys, welcome to Beauty Bee Mary 6. Today I'm going to share with you guys Bond Pretty 5D Cat Eye Magnetic Gel Polish with Review in Swatches. And all the links are in the description box below. I have received two gel polishes and this eight pieces brush set. And you can use this both for acrylic and gel polishes. And this will be reviewed in a separate video. And these come in a plastic jar with 5ml of polish in it. And these are nicely packed to avoid leakage during transit. And you have to remove this plastic seal. And the product ID is mentioned here along with the shade number. And once you open it, you have another aluminum seal here. Just open it up. And there you go. It's in the shade Bright Vega. And it's from the Magic Story Sky Series. And it's a beautiful coppery brown shade. And I have ordered the magnets from AliExpress quite a long ago. And I haven't still received them. So I'm using the magnets that are available at the moment. And... And this flower magnetic stick, I got it from Nailot underscore Nails Fist on Instagram. And this is the second shade and it's in the name Andromeda Galaxy. And it's from the same series. I have already opened it up. And it's a gorgeous royal blue shade. And I'm taking a toothpick and mixing it well. And I'm going to swatch it on different base colors to see whether it makes any difference. And I'm using this uh, nail polish brush from an old nail polish bottle. No base color for this swatch. And this is how it looks. Next I'm going to swatch it on a teal base. this is how it looks there is no much difference between the both and next I'm going to swatch it on a chocolate base and it's a bit darker than the other finally I'm swatching it on a black base and it looks beautiful on the black base so these polishes work well on black base once you are done, in order to set it, you have to cure it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is the second coat. And I'm using a triangle shaped magnet. And I'm going to form like a semicircle kind of effect. And this is how it looks. I like the way it turned out. And for the next one, I'm sticking the two triangle magnets together and placing it on the nail like this to get this effect. And this is how it looks. And for the next one, I'm using the side of the triangle magnet and I'm achieving this effect. You just need to play with your magnets in order to achieve different looks and I just love this and for the next one I'm using the round magnet in order to achieve this effect and once it is done cure it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds finally using Born Pretty no wipe top coat and applying a thin layer and cure it for 60 seconds and you're done so these are the four different types of looks achieved. Now I'm going to use bright vega 
and I'm going to mix it first and then I'm going to start swatching it the first swatch doesn't have a base color and I'm using round magnets for achieving the looks you can check out my DIY cat eye magnet video I'll leave the link in the description box below as you can see uh, this looks a bit darker than the previous one next I have swatched on a chocolate base and finally I'm swatching it on a black base and it really looks gorgeous on the black base and uh, I'm going to use this uh, flowered magnetic pen For the next swatch, I'm going to use a heart shaped magnet and I'm trying to form a curve on both the ends and as the bottom end was not clear, I'm going to reapply the magnetic polish and again use the magnet. So this is how it looks and for the next swatch, I'm using the flower magnetic stick. And this works beautiful on it and the best part in the magnetic polishes is that you have time to play with the magnets because if it is a normal polish it just dries out before the effect takes place and for the next swatch I'm using the side of a triangle magnet and I'm achieving the same look that I have done for the other gel polish that's that looks really really beautiful and for the final swatch I'm using the other side of the flower stick pen and the main thing in this is if you're using the uh, magnetic pen a bit too far from it you're getting only two lines and you need to hold the pen really close to the nail so that you get those four lines initially I was thinking that the pen was not working However, accidentally I found out that you have to hold the pen really closer. These are the four swatches using Bright Vega and I'm going to show you all the eight swatches together. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe and see you all with another video soon. Bye!